For today's video, we are going to talk about how to divide polynomials, and we are going to explain everything in details. In dividing polynomials, the laws of exponents and the distributive property are being applied. So let's have an example. On number 1, we have quantity 49x cubed plus 42x raised to 5 minus 84x raised to 7 divided by 7x squared. So to simplify this one, let us have... 49x cubed divided by 7x squared, and that is 7. Let us copy the variable and let us subtract the exponent, that is 3 minus 2, that is simply 1. So we are going to have 7x. And then, 42x raised to 5 divided by 7x squared, that is 6x cubed. And then, negative 84x raised to 7 divided by 7x squared, that is negative 12x raised to 5. If you're going to write your final answer, we are going to have negative 12x raised to 5 plus 6x cubed plus 7x. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have quantity negative 2x plus 3x squared minus 4 divided by quantity x minus 3. Since our divisor is a binomial, we are going to use long division and we are going to write our dividend into decreasing power of variable. So let us have 3x squared minus 2x minus 4 divided by x minus 3. So let us have 3x squared divided by x that is 3x and 3x multiplied by x that is 3x square and 3x multiplied by negative 3 that is negative 9x so let us subtract this one negative 2x minus 9x that is positive 7x and let us cancel this one let us bring down negative 4 7x divided by x that is 7 and 7 times x is 7x and 7 times negative 3 is negative 21 so let us subtract negative 4 minus negative 21 that is 17 and we are going to cancel this one since the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divisor we are going to write our answer as 3x plus 7 plus 17 over x minus 3 and this will be our answer on example number 3, we have quantity 2x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed minus 4x minus 16 divided by quantity x plus 2. Since our divisor is a binomial, we are going to use long division. And as you can see, our dividend is written in descending power of variable. But there is a missing term from our dividend and that is x squared. So all we have to do is to fill in the blanks with space with 0 multiplying the missing term. So let us have 2x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed plus the missing term that is 0x squared minus 4x minus 16 divided by x plus 2. So let us have 2x raised to 4 divided by x that is 2x cubed. 2x cubed multiplied by x, that is 2x raised to 4. And 2x cubed multiplied by 2, that is 4x cubed. So let us subtract. 3x cubed minus 4x cubed, that is negative x cubed. So let us cancel this one. And then let us bring down our missing term, that is 0x squared. So let us have negative x cubed divided by x, that is negative x square negative x square multiplied by x that is negative x cube negative x square multiplied by 2 that is negative 2x square so let us subtract we are going to cancel this one 0x square minus negative 2x square that is positive 2x square and then let us bring down negative 4x, 2x squared divided by x, that is 2x. 
and 2x multiplied by x, that is 2x squared. And 2x multiplied by 2, that is 4x. So let us subtract. We are going to cancel this one. Negative 4x minus 4x, that is negative 8x. Let us bring down negative 16. Negative 8x divided by x, that is negative 8. And negative 8 multiplied by x plus 2, it will give us negative 8x minus 16. And if you are going to subtract this one, it will give us 0. So therefore, our answer that is 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 8. And this will be our answer. On our last example, we have quantity 9x raised to 4 minus x squared minus 6x plus 2 divided by quantity 3x minus 1. Just like in our previous example, we are going to use long division because our divisor is a binomial. And as you can see, our dividend is written in descending power of variable, but there is a missing term in our dividend and that is x cubed. So all we have to do is to fill in the blank space with 0 multiplying the missing term. So let us have 9x raised to 4 followed by our missing term that is 0x cubed minus x squared minus 6x plus 2 divided by 3x minus 1. So let us have 9x raised to 4 divided by 3x it will give us 3x cubed. 3x cubed multiplied by 3x, that is 9x raised to 4. 3x cubed multiplied by negative 1, that is negative 3x cubed. So let us subtract. Let us cancel this one. 0x cubed minus negative 3x cubed, that is positive 3x cubed. And 3x cubed, let us bring down negative x squared. 3x cubed divided by 3x, that is x squared. And x squared multiplied by 3x, that is 3x squared. x squared multiplied by negative 1, that is negative x squared. So let us subtract. If you are going to subtract this one, it will give us 0. So let us bring down negative 6x plus 2. Negative 6x divided by 3. That is negative 2. Negative 2 multiplied by 3x minus 1. That is 6x, negative 6x rather, plus 2. And if you are going to subtract this one, we are going to have 0. So therefore, our answer that is 3x cubed plus x squared minus 2. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.